Hi guys, so you want to make your first blog and you don't know where to start. Well, the easiest way is using the best platform out there, which is WordPress. And you want to download the WordPress file onto your computer or laptop. To do this, go to wordpress.org to download their file. Now you can read up on the latest version of WordPress available over here. So you want to download the latest version. And this will be saved in your downloads. And for easier access, I recommend pulling the downloaded file and moving it to the desktop. So here's your WordPress file and I'm moving it to the desktop. So now you like have so. your WordPress file and that's your first step to start your own blog. Now that you have your WordPress folder downloaded, the next step is to download MAMP. MAMP stands for Macintosh Apache MySQL and PHP. MAMP is an application you can install on your Mac which allows you to have access to a local PHP server in MySQL server. Essentially MAMP gives you all of the tools you need to run WordPress on your machine for development and testing purposes. So in order to download MAMP to install WordPress locally on your machine to start developing a local version of your website. Log in to www.mamp.info and here we go. We want to download the Silver MAMP which is the free version after you've used it, you can decide on whether or not you want to go for the pro version later. So we're going to download the Silver MAMP. So here's the downloaded MAMP installation box. So you just have to install the MAMP like any other application. Follow the buttons. agree to the license And so we've in installed MAMP as well as a free version, a trial version of the MAMP Pro. Now you want to open the MAMP, go to HT Docs. And from the folder that we already saved on the desktop, the WordPress folder, you want to go into that folder and copy all the contents in that folder. You control C to copy all the contents in the WordPress folder that we saved earlier on the desktop and come back to HT Docs under MAMP and you want to copy all that content into this HT Docs folder. By doing so we're telling MAMP what to look for when it's loaded. Now we can move the WordPress folder which is now empty to the trash because I no longer require it and remember that MAMP comes under applications we can move the MAMP into the dock for easy reference click on it to get started and click on start servers and wait for green now we can open web start page
Okay, here we're going to go into PHP My Admin. And where it says create database, give a database name, WordPress. And click on create. And the database is created. We don't need to use PHP My Admin after this step, so we can just close this. And now click on Open Web Start Page once more. Now go to the address bar and remove all but the localhost 8888. This is the admin URL to access the backend configuration. Choose your language. From here on, it's very simple. Just follow the buttons, basically. Now, here the database name is the WordPress username. By default, is root. The password by default is root. Don't change anything else. Click submit. And run the install. <coughs> now you can choose a site title. And a username. You can choose anything you like. Uh, for now this video I'm just going to use admin and the password is admin as well. and enter your email address you can keep your search engine visibility to null or you can allow the search engines to visit your site and you're done and WordPress is installed and now you can log in using your username and password And welcome to your WordPress dashboard. This is where you do all the back-end work for your offline website. We hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on how to install a localized version of WordPress on your computer so that you can start working on your blog offline until you're ready to go online with it. Many more easy step-by-step -step blogging videos to come. Thanks for watching. See you next time.